Porco. So, today's Porco Report doesn't start off in a game as it usually does. It's starting off in the Discord for Enshrouded. And I want to say thank you to Crazy Loon for doing this. Yeah, he ended up putting up his build in the Enshrouded Discord, and there's a section for this. And it's called the Share Builds and Saves section. And you can upload your build there. And so Crazy Loon created the first public resource so that everybody can have uh, all the materials that they need to build what they want. So how do you get to access this public resource world version one? And before you do any of this, make sure that you have this setting. Um, inside your Steam, disable cloud saves. So then you download the two files that are in the Discord post in Crazy Loon's build. And then you take those files, like I'm going to show you, you copy them. And you put them in your saved game directory for Enshrouded. And that's the users and then your PC username, save games and enshrouded directory. Just paste them in there. It's just that easy, really. And now you can go in and play. And if all that's done correctly, the world should pop up. There it is, real world, and that's Crazy Loon's world. And uh, here we are. Now you can just teleport to the, uh, to the homestead level 4 there. And it's pretty easy. And here we are at Crazy Loon's build. It's that easy to share builds in this game. So, you know, I really want to say thank you to the devs for making it that easy. So let's see what's here. We got some some roof stuff and these things. We got some building materials, but I suspect this is not the cache. I suspect that is somewhere else in the build. But look at this. Look at this. It's sugar cane, honey, uh, all the cooking materials and... You know, um, I'm going to pilfer some stuff for sure. Uh, what do we got? We got some, some low-level armor. What else? Let's take a look through Crazy Loon's treasure trove of resources here that he left for everyone. All the fell heads, so you can make all the... Um, the head displays that you can also put up with their heads. I think that that's kind of morbid. I wouldn't necessarily cut my enemy's head off and put it up on my wall. That's, uh, you know, what is this? Pike Meads something. Wow, I'm going to have to check that out. And I mean everything. Extraordinary Glider, Advanced Glider, Gliders, uh, Medium Backpack, which I'm going to pilfer right now. <laughs> And uh, I suspect that there's going to be... Oh, look at these large magic... Yes, we're taking all those. We're taking all those. There's all the the rescued folk. Look at this. Wow. And again, I suspect that the real... Oh, what is this? This is a crypt. Yes, this is the vault. Here it is. Here it is, people. We are at the vault. And wow, look at this. Like, every possible thing that you can collect in the game has been done for you here in spades uh, by Crazy Loon. This is a lot of work. So, you know, I really want everybody to say thank you to Crazy Loon on Discord because, wow, um, that's a lot, a lot of work that went into this. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Those are medium. Huge. No, well, you know what? We'll go with huge. I, I think I'll put these back. And we're going to go with... Ooh, huge magic chests. Yeah, right? <sighs> no, grinding is not for the Porco. Look at this. L look at all the, 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 the different color materials. Like, oh my god. Padding. Um castle wall block oh here it is 
Here it is. Yep, here's the cache of the building materials. Ah, yes. Here it is. The long-beloved material cache. Oh, there it is. Highly polished stone block. That is getting pilfered. That's getting pilfered. That's getting pilfered. Um, what else? I mean, we can come back and get as many as as we want, right? Desert City, limestone. We'll get a limestone and a, and one of those. We already have some of the temple stone block, but the shroud, the palm wood, and metal block. Mycelium overgrown block, bone block. And yes, well block, well block, people. This is, yes, yes, thank you, Crazy Loon. I can't say that enough. Uh, now we can build some seriously menacing Porco Towers. Not that the golden Porco Tower that I'm building isn't menacing. Let's take a look, see what else is in here. Like, look at this. Wow. Everything, everything that you can possibly want. So I'm not seeing a lot of the props, I'm not seeing a lot of the weapons, and I'm sure that someone else will put up another build, or maybe Crazy Loon will put up a V2 build with all of the uh, furniture props, bed props, uh, all that stuff. Oh wait, hey, here we go though, here we go, here we go. Oh, we got weapons! Weapon caches, yes! But I, I do got a feeling that this is saying, he, putting it as version 1 means there'll be a version 2 and a version 3. And you know what? I'm sure people will also put like a whole bunch of one material into one um, chest and, and so that, you know, the, the duping of that material is already done for us. I mean, this is a revolution that we started here, the builder's revolution. And you know, Crazy Loon, thank you for responding. You are now a lieutenant. A lieutenant in the Builders' Revolution that uh, that I started because uh, you know they didn't give us a build mode. So what did we do? What did we did? What did you do, Crazy Loon? You gave us a build mode. You ah, oh, thank you again. Thank you. Look at this. Look at all the weapons that we got here. Yes, the Porco is excited. The revolution is on. Look at all the the arrows. Fowler helmet. Archery helmet, right? And I, as as I said, this is version one, so there'll be a version, there'll be other versions. And and please let me know if I missed anywhere on this map. Um, leave it in the comments. Uh, if if there was another cache somewhere, if if uh, you know, I, I think we explored it. Um, you know, I think we went everywhere. Look at this, eh? Like this is. This is a laboratory. I think that would be a cool trend if people started making builds with hidden caches of weapons or stuff in them, and then people had to go find them. But they show the stuff in the build description so that you know that it's there, and you just have to go find it somewhere, and it's going to be in a room, at the end of a maze, or, uh, or something. Um, you know, this could be a totally fun trend for Enshrouded. Yeah, what a, what a fantastic upload. Again, Crazy Loon, thank you so much. I hope there, there's more to come. I hope other people jump on this, uh, builder's revolution that we have started. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching The Porco Report.